name of the program is the Bachelor of Science in Molecular Diagnostics degree program. And this program is rapidly evolving with the field itself and entails a focus on human biology as well as a, a mixture of chemistry and of course core classes in molecular diagnostics. Molecular diagnostics is the branch of laboratory medicine that looks at DNA and RNA and proteins and attempts to diagnose disease by uh, looking at, at uh, assays that, that can determine what is wrong with someone's DNA or RNA or proteins. The vision for the program began back in 2008-2009 uh, with the first students uh, commencing at that time. We worked with um, SHW Group and Grand Rapids Community College in 2011 to create a uh, state-of-the-art lab for our students to learn in. The degree programs offered in the College of Health Professions consist of, in the clinical laboratory sciences, an associate's degree in medical laboratory technology, a bachelor's degree in medical laboratory science, and a bachelor's degree in molecular diagnostics. The only thing that would really be comparable that I can think of are the clinical laboratory science and medical laboratory science degrees, but molecular diagnostics takes it one step further and we look at things from the molecular level. The molecular diagnostics program is uh, a slightly more specialized version of a medical technologist. Um, who is going to focus just on the DNA and the RNA and protein aspects of that. Ferris's molecular diagnostics program is uh, unique in that there are very few molecular diagnostics programs in the country at this, at this time. We are the only undergrad program in the Lower Peninsula in the state of Michigan with a state-funded university. The thing that I like most about the program in Ferris is that we get so many opportunities to be in the lab. We get to always continue to improve on our lab skills. From start to finish, we really get a great basis as far as the biology level, and then we kind of build off of that. All of our molecular techniques are based on the biology of the cell, and then we learn how to use that in the lab. Going through uh, the molecular diagnostics program, uh, I got a lot of different skills for uh, preparing me for the real world, you know, not just knowing how to do the different techniques and knowing how the different lab processes work, but knowing a lot of the background and how the tests are actually working, how, you know, what's the purpose of each step of the process, which definitely helps when it comes to uh, troubleshooting, you know, if something goes wrong, you got to know what's actually going on, and the education kind of provided that background into that information. Students graduating from the Ferris Molecular Diagnostics program are uniquely suited to working in the molecular diagnostics field simply because it's a program that is geared directly towards this field. We have become really efficient in the lab as far as using our time from where we've started to where we've finished. So we can do electrophoresis really quickly. Um, we're really efficient with pipetting and those skills. Uh, flow cytometry we spent an entire semester doing and I think that's one of the things that's really unique is not many people have the knowledge of flow cytometry. It's usually on the job training, and we spent an entire semester doing it. That's really useful in diagnosing cancers. As uh, molecular diagnostics has grown, there's been a greater need for students who are specifically trained from, from the beginning in both of those sides uh, of, the, of the laboratory. We can use molecular techniques to diagnose disease, to know what type of a carrier status that a person is and that does help to aid in the disease identifying process. The program definitely helps uh, get a good jump start on my career because uh, internship opportunity that you have in your final summer uh, after you finish all your classes gets you into a lab, gets you into actually performing, you know, or if not performing, observing the work that's going on in real labs. You kind of see all the stuff you've learned in class and learned you know, in those class, in the labs at school, actually getting applied uh, to the real world. The molecular diagnostics core that we've done in our senior year, that gives us all the lab skills that we need to be able to be marketable for a career. The jobs that are available for graduates uh, consist of many opportunities. They can uh, choose to go into molecular laboratories that are hospital-based. They can choose to go into public and or private uh, laboratories. 
Uh, they can choose to go into pharmaceuticals. Uh, they can choose to go into research laboratories. So there's many opportunities for students to pursue upon graduation. So successful students in molecular diagnostics are going to be interested in laboratory medicine. Um, they're going to be interested in molecular biology, uh, particularly in the nuts and bolts of what happens at the subcellular level uh, that, that causes different types of disease. You're literally solving many of the problems that face human medicine today, and that is the identification and cure of uh, really debilitating illnesses, viruses, and diseases. And so to be on the cutting edge of that as uh, new pathways are identified and treatment therapies are are applied is to me a really exciting area of this field.